Man, what's going on, y'all? Good evening. This is Cajun Tactical, and I'm back. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's good to be back. So, man, just real quick, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, man. Let's keep this channel going. I want to keep doing videos and keep putting out some good content for y'all. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, hit me in the comment box, and make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. So, let's roll. Hey, look, man, last night, y'all, I went and... I finally found a box of nine millimeter ammo where I live. So it ain't nowhere, nowhere around here. And it went for a dollar fifty a round. Can you believe that? A dollar fifty a round. Man, what is this place coming to? So hey, I suggest y'all, man, stock up as much as you can. Buy some every time you see it because it ain't gonna get cheaper. It's only going to cost more. It's only going to keep skyrocketing up. So let's try to get what we can get, y'all. But anyway, hey, look, a uh, quick video. So this is my APX carry. It's my favorite uh, every day. I mean, guys, this is real small. I carry it. It fits everywhere. So this is like my favorite go-to. It has been for the past couple months. What I want to do is I'm going to change the frame out. So on the APX carry, you can actually get different color frames and you swap all the internals into a new frame. So I ordered a wolf gray, uh, waiting for it to come in. But whenever I ordered it, I was looking online to see how to do it because I've never done it before. <clears throat> well, they didn't have a video on the APX Beretta carry. They had it on the APX full size and subcompact, but it's a little different. So I just figured it out myself and you know hopefully this video will help somebody and just so y'all know no magazine in it safety check clear and <clears throat> a couple tools you're going to need you're going to need a flathead screwdriver this is my glock tool man i use this for everything i mean this is probably the most handy tool in my toolbox and you're going to need a small punch so um Let's get to it. We're going to show you how to swap it out. So if y'all ever get one and you want to swap it out for a different color, man, it'll be, <clears throat> excuse me, man, it'll be there for you. So, hey, let's do it. All right, y'all. Here we go. So um, first thing with the APX carry is it has this little button right here that you're going to take your punch. You're going to push it and it's going to to where you don't have to... Um, Pull the trigger and do a dry fire. It, it's awesome. Just push a little button, done deal. Now, one thing, the only thing I don't like about this pistol is you need a tool or something to break it down, which I'm not a fan of. But however, I like it so much that that's not going to kill me. So what you got to do is you take your flathead screwdriver in here. Now, after you done decocked it already... I'm going to put your screwdriver in here, turn it, pops the slide, slide's going to come off just like that, okay? So you move that to the side, right here, all right, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get my Glock tool, which like I said is like my most important tool that I have and let me try to get as close as possible so y'all are able to see this okay and first thing this right here comes out which is the the where we put the screwdriver in okay that pops out just like that see so you're gonna pull it turn it a little bit okay so that's out make it easy there all right so now the the top piece is top piece comes out now this is a little more tricky so inside I don't know if y'all can see it but inside here there's a little spring that you have to pull the spring off of this pin unhook it so you can push the rear pin through okay and it took me a second so this is what I need the small punch for now, so it's a little tedious some dull eyes ain't as good as they used to be so Makes it a little harder, but let's do it. Let's see. Y'all can see. I don't think y'all gonna be able to see it very well, but we're gonna make it happen. See, I can't see it very well. Right, so, I'm gonna take my glasses off. Okay. Now, this is 
the only part that's frustrating. It could be a little tedious, you know, depending on what you're working on. Let me grab my Glock tool that always works. Okay, just a couple times. So it's, it's easier for me the first time I did it was putting it on a vise. So that way I could have two hands free, which that was really easy, but I don't have a vise in here. And my brother's working on his car in the garage. All right, so I have the little pin, as you can see. So the little pin is under, is under my tool. Now I'm going to push this pin out. here and this is going to come out all right all right now that's, that's the hard part that's the hard part right there so now look this pin is out you just pull it just like that okay now this little spring is just hanging so whenever we uh, reassemble it, I'll show you and make it easy for you. It's just hanging in there. So now we're going to pull the top piece out. Okay. And the only other thing that you have to push in is the decocker, decocker spring. So you got to push that in so you're able to pull it out. And uh, make sure you can see it. Push it in. Now, just like that. Okay, so there it is, y'all. Comes out. So now I'm able to take a new frame, and which I got the wolf grape coming, which I think will be a good little change up. And you just put it right back in. And it's real easy. The only tedious part is the little spring on it, which I mean, it's we can make it happen. It's doable. If I can do it, you can do it. So. However, I don't have the wolf gray yet. It's going to be like four or five days before I get it. So I'm going to just put this one back together just like that. Okay. All right. So whenever you take it apart, there's a couple pieces that may or may not come undone, which there's a pin here. See, this pin just kind of falls out. So what this pin does, this is your, it goes right here your slide lock okay so this goes back through it it's loose so it just kind of free hangs so you got to kind of keep your hands keep your hands on it and keep everything straightened together like that All right oh and there's also i found this out too there's a little bitty spring okay let me show you where this goes so there's a slot right let me see right here and the spring just falls in it standing up just like that slide lock spring so it's right here goes into it and it's real little y'all i apologize if you're not able to see it hey sh shoot me a comment if you got any questions i'll i'll get you through it all right let's put this over back. there's the spring so remember this is a real small spring so guys i've lost springs before boy you talk about aggravating you know spring as small as this can keep your gun out of commission boy that's frustrating however so it slides right into here and it stands up straight up just like that hold everything together put it in bam and then we got the slide lock here And we got to push this pin down, which is the decocker spring, the decocker pin, so we can put the gun in. And there it is. All right, so that's in. You're going to push this down, keep it good, straight, and level. And you're going to take, which this is what you uh, have to unscrew to pull the slide off, okay? So this is going to go in. And you just kind of turn it, turn it in there to see when it pops in. And keep that down. 
steady. There it is. Okay, so went all the way in. So you have that in there. And we only got one more to put in, y'all. And this is the one, this last pin is where the little spring goes over that I had to pull off the first time, which is a little frustrating first time you do it. So it has a little notch. Let's see. Here. So there's a little notch in this pin that the spring rests right on top and falls in the groove on this pin. Okay. So you're going to push it in with the, the narrow side first. All right, now, so let's see how we're going to get this so y'all can see it and I can see it. Okay, so let's see. All right, so I have my finger on the pin. Now I have to take my tool and pull the spring up so I can slide the pin in over it. Okay, I have the spring lifted. So I'm going to slide this right in it. I can see it. There we go. Start it, pull the spring up, and then push the pin in. Okay. Now I missed it. Darn it. There we go. There we go. Alright. So now the spring, let me see if I can get it to her up there. Okay, so the spring is right here. It's right here on top of this pin in the groove. So it sits right into the groove. And uh, y'all, I'm sorry if the if the footage is a little rough. Um, you know, it's hard whenever you're working with something really small and to get a good picture and put it on camera. So okay, well, it looks like we got everything put together, ready to go. Let's put the slide on it. All right. Now, just like I had to turn it whenever I took it off, I have to turn it and lock it back in. So you can see this is sticking out the guide rod, the tip of it. So whenever I turn it with the, and lock it into place, it goes back in. Just like that. Ready to go, y'all. So the new frame, which will be wolf gray, and I'll probably do a video on it. Uh, maybe not quite as close up. Um, I'm going to go back and uh, check it out and see how it looks. And y'all, if there's any parts you hadn't seen, man, shoot me over a comment and let me know so I can get it right for y'all. And, you know, make sure no questions go unanswered. So, hey, I appreciate the time, y'all. This is uh, Cajun Tactical, and we signing out. Y'all have a great evening.